I'm going to go to the beach to test my FM crystal radio. So see you there. This is my neighborhood. Uh, just started driving. You see on the middle of the screen, there's a barbecue goose sign. Right? There's a big restaurant famous for barbecue goose. If you ever come to visit Hong Kong, do stop by in a place called Samjeng in Chunwan of Hong Kong. There you've got a lot of uh, good restaurants. You can see the mountain or hill over there. That's where we have the FM transmission station. This is the station I'm listening to. So we are now around 7 km away. We'll be closing by. This is the Gold Coast Hotel of Hong Kong. So it's next to the beach, the Gold Coast Beach, which is an artificial beach created by putting sand uh, on a rocky land. So we'll be uh, soon arriving to the beach and then we'll talk about testing. Okay, I parked my car and this is the beach. There's a lot of people coming out on the weekend to do different type of exercise. That's the transmission station we'll be listening to very soon. And uh, it's quite strong because it's just three kilometer away now. And there are people on the beach, they are doing different type of exercise. Some are just doing some baking and others are swimming. And there's still some people doing the beach balls, volleyballs. This is my setup for the testing. I have a camera stand and a rubber tray. For the antenna, I have a 1.2 meter telescopic antenna and a drop-down cable for the lower half of the dipole. For recording, I have the transformer that is a step-down transformer on the right. Um, no amplification is used. The only amplification is the iPhone's uh, mic inputs AGC. If you want to know more about each radio being tested, you can click the suggested video box on the top corner of the video. If you like my video, please subscribe and also click the alarm bell so you'll be notified of the new videos. Share with your friends and click like if you like the video. Thanks. The first crystal radio I'm testing is the FM crystal radio made using a big ring that I uploaded and posted a few days ago. But this time I've enhanced the ring uh, with a thicker pipe. Uh, it's a 4 millimeter pipe. I find this much clearer and much louder. Let's see how it performs. The next crystal radio I'm going to test is this wooden box one. We have uh, two compartments. First one is about FM crystal radio. The second one is about AM and shortwave crystal radio. So they are operated independently and each occupy half of the box. The detector is another MOSFET 3DQ mounted inside a fuse tube. The next crystal radio I'm testing is this Scorpion FM crystal radio. It has a self-made variable capacitor at the end of that coil tube. You can tune by rotating the knob that uh, convert into a gear that have a horizontal pull and push motion that pull and push a thinner pipe 
inside the bigger copper pipe that vary the uh, overlapping portion and change the capacitance. This is the other crystal radio I made recently. Uh, which is proven to be the loudest. So let's see how it performs here. This one is the one of the first few FM crystal radios that I made. So it's conventional circuit using most FET. This crystal radio is created using a cheaper plastic variable capacitor, but it still performs quite well. 他們把兩支五班座都入到位 this one has a dual tuning using a plastic variable capacitor. Uh, because of the dual tuning and using both gates of the most FET, it uh, have a much clearer and much louder output. This radio has two modes, one is FM and the other is AM. We'll test both. Let's first test FM first. Mm. 
Let's test the AM. You notice that the micro ammeter is showing a much lower output current for the AM, but in fact the uh, loudness of the AM radio is much much louder than the FM because it's a direct uh, detection instead of slope detection for AM. It struck during an ultra marathon on Saturday in China's northwestern Gangsu province, local government officials said on Sunday. Eight were lightly injured as of 8 a.m. Beijing time on Sunday, officials from Beiyun City told a news conference. The one I'm missing in the extreme weather at 1 p.m. yesterday. <laughs> Said we express deep condolences and sympathy to the families of the victims.